All right, in today's video, we're going to be focusing on how to calculate sales tax and tip amounts, where we're going to be, be potentially adding in some numbers. I want to remind you guys that in our previous video, we talked about discounts, and you filled this page out in your notes. And in our last class, we had talked about the difference between these two problems, the blue versus the red, and how one of them involves subtraction. And you might remember that the first question here, how much do you pay for an item? So this is going to be the one that involves subtraction because first we're going to find 10% of $15.99. And that's going to be the discount. And in this case, it's actually going to be $1.599, which would round to $1.60 off. So we're going to subtract $1.60. That's how much we would save. So if it's $15.99 and we do minus $1.60, we're going to have a 9, a 3, and here this would be a $14.39, and that's how much you would pay. So this right here, you actually subtract. For a question like down here, if it asks how much do you save on an item, we'd be done after the $1.60, okay? So a lot like in our last class, we're either going to stop or we might have to do a little bit of extra math. Now, I want to make sure that I cover the last um, Google Slides that you guys completed. So these were the discount amounts. This is again from our previous class. And if it's 10%, you do times 0.10. If it was 30%, we times 0.30. And again, 10% times 0.10. You also could just move the decimal once for 10%. So if I move the decimal once, that's where I get the $16 off. Same thing here. If I move this once, it's 1.999, which rounds to $2 off. Now, with the 30%, you probably need to use your calculator for that one. And again, friendly reminder that sometimes you're going to stop after the calculator math, or here we had to subtract to find the sale price, all right? So this was from our last class. And here, again, discounts are subtracted to find the sale price. And a discount is an amount that a consumer saves. And if you answered this one on your independent practice, we would see here that if you were to buy four individual tubes at $2.89, you would be spending $11.56. Now, if you do the buy three, get one free for $9.29, I would probably go ahead and do that because toothpaste doesn't go bad. And so you can go ahead and buy all four of them. And then obviously you'll just keep three of them like in a pantry or like in the cupboard, sorry, cupboard or like in a drawer or in a closet or something like that. So yeah, in this situation, it's better for us to buy the thir three and get one free because we're saving $2.27. So now that I've kind of gone over the last topic, you guys are with me now on this page talking about sales tax and tip amounts. And there's actually three main types of taxes that we're going to discuss briefly. So of the types of taxes here, we've got three types. You pay income tax on money that you earn. Now, none of you have a job right now that you're paying, that you get a paycheck for, so you don't have to pay any income tax right now. The teachers that you have, we all get a paycheck, so each month a little bit's taken out, and that's income tax. And this is what you see commercials for on TV, like H&R Block or TurboTax. That's for income taxes that people pay um, every time you get paid. And again, every year you kind of check to see if you overpaid or underpaid, and that's what these websites are for. And once a year, People either owe the government more money or they actually get a refund. So that's this stuff. This is really adult type math, and you guys don't have to worry about income taxes until you get your very first paying job. Now, the one here in the middle, this is what we're going to focus on, sales tax, because this is what you guys actually pay. So on a lot of receipts, again, you'll notice that there's a certain amount plus a little extra in tax. And here, if we did 6% of 3.59, we'd get the 22 cents. Let me actually show you all that in a calculator real quick, how they did this math. If you do the 3.59 and multiply by 0 0.06, this 5 is going to bump that up to 22 cents. So you're going to owe 22 cents in sales tax, and then the total would be 381. So you might remember from our last class, we did some subtracting because of discounts, but here we're actually adding in taxes. And now for the last one, property tax, a lot of people who either own their own home or have their own car, they pay something called property tax. And again, that's not you guys since you don't have to worry about, um, you don't own any property. All right, now in Virginia, in Virginia, it's actually a 6% sales tax. 
you can see here that 5.3% of it is Virginia itself. And then where we are in Northern Virginia, the Fairfax County, it adds it a little bit more. And then we've got 6%. That's how the, the tax breaks down here in Virginia. All right. Now in DC, for me actually, in DC there's actually a 10% sales tax. So sales tax actually depends on where you live. And I'm going to highlight it here so that it stands out in your notes. The sales tax is the one that we care about. Uh, this is what you guys are calculating because, again, this is what you currently have to pay. All right, so let's dive on in here. So we got to be very careful when we read. Sometimes you have to stop with your calculator math. Sometimes you have to keep going. So the first one, how much will an item cost in DC if the subtotal is $27.99 and there's 10% sales tax? So how much will an item cost? So I need to first figure out the tax, and then I'm going to add that because it wants to know how much will the item cost. All right, so if I bust out my calculator, I'm going to do 10% of 27.99. And most of you remember, you can just move the decimal over once. And here, this 9 is going to bump this up to 80 cents. All right, so let me get my pen out. So this would be $2.80 in tax. Okay, that's the tax. But since it asks how much will the item cost, I need to now add that to the $27.99. So plus the $27.99. And yes, you can use your calculators for this stuff. So we'll take the $2.80 tax and we'll add it to $27.99. And you would pay $30.79. So $30.79. That is how much an item would cost if there was a 10% sales tax. All right, now for the next one. How much tax is owed on an item in Springfield if the subtotal is 375.08 and there is a 6% tax? So for this one, you guys can see here, I'm only using 6%. And remember that 6% as a decimal is 0 0.06. That's a really common mistake I see. Some people want to put in a 0 0.6. But if we do 0 0.06, so that's 6% of 375.08, all right, and here when I look at the four, it's not going to change my 50 cents. So this would be tax is 22.50. And since it asks how much tax is owed on an item, and I just figured out the tax right there, I am done with this problem. So just like with discounts, we got to read carefully. Does it want to know the total cost, like how much would you pay? Or does it just want to know how much extra tax that you owe? So the main mistake students are making in this unit is simply answering the wrong question. You're not necessarily doing any math wrong, but you might be answering the wrong question. Are you giving me tax only when I wanted the total or vice versa? Another mistake I will see is that some people accidentally tell me that 6% is 0 0.6 in the calculator. No, 6% is 0 0.06 in the calculator, okay? All right, so that takes care of sales tax. You do the math the same way you do the discount, but this time we're just adding in tax instead of subtracting it away. And now let's talk about tip. So a fancy word for tip is also known as gratuity. And when you guys see this word gratuity, it kind of sounds like the word gratitude, which means thankful, you're being thankful. So why do you think that we give our tips or gratuity as a percent based thing. Maybe just jot down an idea for why you think that this might be a percent based thing. And we'll talk about it in class. What we're saying here, y'all, is that we don't always leave $5 to a delivery driver when they give us a pizza. Sometimes we might only give them $3. Sometimes we might give them $10. It just depends. And it's always a certain percent of whatever the pizza is or whatever the total is in a restaurant. So we're going to talk about why we think this is a percent-based thing instead of always saying like, okay, every time you go out to eat, you always have to leave $10. That would not be fair. So why do you think we use a percent instead of a, a, a dollar amount? Put that answer there, and we'll talk about it as a class. Now, earlier we worked through an example. This would have been in your previous video. And you might remember here with discounts that we talked about the pizza example. My first question was, how much did you save on the pizza? And the next question was, how much did you pay for the pizza? But when we did this math, 
and subtracted the six dollars we found that it was seventeen dollars and 98 cents for the pizza so that's kind of where we're picking up now in the video so down here earlier we worked through an example where we did the 25 off and we saved six dollars and the pizza cost 1798 that's the thing I just showed y'all so now let's see how much the tip would be at different rates so let's say you only want to leave a 15% tip to the delivery driver. You've got your 25% off, you save six bucks, you like that, and then now the pizza only costs $17.98. So to see what your 15% tip would be, you're just going to do 0.15 times $17.98. And if we leave a 15% tip, let's see what that would be in the calculator. Sorry, I'm just trying to move this over. There we go. All right, so 0.15 times 17.98 all right and this seven is going to bump this up to 70 cents so that'd be a 2.70 and that is how much tip you would be leaving now the service might have been great the pizza might have gotten there really really quickly or maybe it's raining outside and you want to be really awesome and leave a 20 percent tip for the delivery driver so in this case, if you want to leave 20%, and again, the pizza was $17.98, let's just see how much tip that would be for the driver. All right, so if we tip 20% instead, it would be $17.98. So this six would bump it up to 3.60. So in this case, the delivery driver would get a $3.60 tip. So you can see here that we have these different percentages and the better the service the higher the percent and you can see here once you start to kind of compare you're like yeah it doesn't really cost me a dollar more so I might as well just go ahead and leave this tip like if I saw those two numbers I'd be like you know what I'm gonna go ahead and tip 20% because it's not that much more when I see the 15% tip and I know that those delivery drivers are really doing us a big favor especially after everything with the pandemic all right so we just got done talking about sales tax and tip amounts in this video and I want to make sure that you guys are comfortable with your uh, check your Google slides for today so I'm gonna pull that up give me one sec to pull that up. so here is gonna be the independent practice that you all have in a little bit um, right now that you're done with the video so on this slide you're just gonna click and drag there's some questions down here and you're just gonna click and drag it and tell me would you stop after multiplying in the calculator or would you add your answer to the subtotal? All right. So you don't have to do any math on this slide. You're literally just clicking and dragging and telling me when you see the question, would you stop or would you add your answer? And you just have to decide. Now, this is a demo slide. Again, I did it for you guys on the um, discounts thing, and I think it worked well. So this is just a sample showing you like how I'm doing 6%. And it might be worth me pointing out to you guys that this is a 6% for the whole slide here. So that's why I did 6%. And then I added in the 6% tax to get the total over here. So you guys are going to do the same thing on this slide. It's got a 6%. And you're going to calculate first the tax that's owed. And then you're going to add it in and tell me the total. I'm just going to adjust those right there. There we go. Okay. All right. And then you've got a gratuity question here another gratuity question and a third gratuity question so the way this works is you're gonna practice here just deciding do you stop or do you need to add your answer you're gonna practice here with sales tax and total and then this is the gratuity slash tip practice and after you submit that you'll have your check for understanding and that's the end of this video see y'all